Hello and welcome back to Hope Kids Online. It's week seven of our More Than Moses series, where we've been thinking together how God had more in store for the Israelites and was using Moses to lead them out of slavery into the promised land. And we've been exploring at home together too how God has more in store for our lives. And today we're going to think about how God gave Moses the Ten Commandments to help the people be faithful to God. Before we explore more of the story, let me pray and then we're going to get ready to worship Jesus together. Father God, we thank you that you are good. We thank you that you have more in store for our lives and that you give us rules and commandments to help us follow you. Would you help us learn more about you today, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Are you ready? Stand up on your feet. Let's go. Let's worship God together. Just need to get this down. 
what writing what down? Oh, it's it's these these rules that God gave us, you know, about life. What we've got to do. Why are you doing it on this stone? It's what Moses did. Oh, Moses. Moses. Oh, like like the Ten Commandments. Yeah. Should should we hear about the actual story of the Ten Commandments? Something amazing was happening. There was the sound of thunder, lightning and trumpets being heard. A cloud was covering the mountain. The people of Israel stood at the bottom of the mountain, feeling very afraid. The ground shook beneath their feet. God spoke to Moses. I want to speak to you, he said. So Moses climbed the mountain. This is important, God said to him. Here are the rules I want everyone to follow. Always remember that I am special. I am the only one. Worship me and only me. Remember one day each week is really special. Use it to rest and think about me. Love your parents and don't hurt people or tell lies or steal anything. I want you always to love and be kind to others. Don't ever forget these rules. They are really important. It's now time for a more than challenge, where I'm going to ask Dave to take on the puzzle from our Ten Commandments workbook. He needs to help Moses find the Ten Commandments in the quickest time possible. I'm going to time Dave and then let you know how long it's taken him and ask you to see if you can do it quicker at home. Are you ready, Dave? Yes, I Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Go round and round and follow the path, follow the path. Oh, they just... No. Oh. Follow, follow. Oh, that no. One. Come on, Moses, lead the way. That no. one. No. No. Oh. No. 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 Must be the last way. Yes! Uh, yes! 41.66 seconds. Let us know at home if you can do it in less time than Dave. It's now time for the craft challenge, where I'm going to demonstrate how to make the Ten Commandments mobile phone. To do this, you'll need the template that is in the workbook, the Ten Commandments. And feel free to print it off on card if you can, or use the workbook and then back it on some cardboard. But you will cut out the mobile phone as well as the individual numbers. So the first thing to do is to start colouring everything in. And as you do that, it's great to consider and remember again what the Ten Commandments are. The first one being, put God first. So I'm going to colour that one in red. And this will help me remember what God said. Another one is respect to your parents. I wonder what it looks like to do that. Keep colouring it in. You can do lots of different patterns. Here's a hard one. Do not lie. And then in a minute, when we've coloured all of this in, we're going to colour the numbers in as well to help match the commandments that God said in the order that he gave them. So once you've done all your colouring, we can start to put the mobile phone together. 
And you might need a little bit of help for this next step, but you need to cut on the solid black line all the numbers apart. There's a dotty line, don't cut that one because we'll fold along that line in a second. But keep cutting along until you've got all the numbers, one to ten, cut out individually. When you do, I'll show you how to fold the first number. You fold along the dotty line and then fold the other way too. And then we'll get ready to use some glue to stick the number to the right commandment. And when you stick it down, it will have a flap. And here's one I've just finished. So I can see all of the commandments underneath the number on my mobile phone. This is a great way for you to consider at home today the Ten Commandments. Good morning, I am Captain Memory and I'm here to help you remember stuff. You'll be pleased to see that I remembered where my memory cloak was. I'd forgotten that I'd put it on my memory cloak hook. The M is here, that stands for... I can't remember. Anyway, I came here today with my uh, memory balloons that I forgot to fill with helium so they weren't as useful as I thought they might be. Anyhow, we've been looking at the story of Exodus and the Ten Commandments where Moses receives the Ten Commandments on tablets of stone. And you're thinking, Captain Memory's going to help me remember the Ten Commandments today. But I'm not. I'm going to help you remember a verse just before the Ten Commandments, which is just as important. The verse says this. Where's my memory balloon with the first part? Here it is. I am the Lord your God. Get that one in our heads. I am the Lord your God. Who brought you out of Egypt? I am the Lord your God who brought you out of Egypt. Next one. <gasps> out of the land of slavery. I am the Lord your God who brought you out of Egypt, out of the land of slavery. And it's from, where's my last memory balloon? Here it is. Exodus 20, verse 2. I am the Lord your God who brought you out of Egypt, out of the land of slavery, Exodus 20, verse 2. Right, we're going to try and remember that one, but it's not so easy because sometimes things happen like this. I forgot that popping balloons make a loud noise. Excuse me, sorry. Oh no, the first part of the verse is gone. Can we remember? What was the first balloon? I am the Lord your God. Yes, I am the Lord your God. Right. Mary verse balloon two. Whoa! Whoa! I keep forgetting that makes a loud noise. Out of the land, out of the land of where was it? Egypt. I am the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt. Out of the land of slavery. Whoa! Whoa! That's two of them gone. They're all gone. We can do this. Come on, let's remember. The last time we do this. I am the Lord your God who brought you out of Egypt. Out of the land of slavery. Exodus 20 verse... Two! We did it! We did it! You're amazing! I'm amazing! This is amazing! Right. Now, I'm sure I need to be somewhere. Uh, I forget. It's now time for a creative prayer activity. And again, you'll find some more instructions on how to do this at home in our workbook today, the Ten Commandments. But as we've been thinking about the Ten Commandments today, if you're anything like me, when we read them, we need to put God first. We need to respect our parents. God's asking us not to lie and not to hurt others. 
there are times when we're all not perfect and we don't f completely follow those rules and we get things wrong. And we need to pray and ask God to, for his help, but also for his forgiveness. And a way to help us think about that now is to use bubbles to pray. So as I pray, I'm thinking about the things that I've done wrong that I need to ask God for his help and his forgiveness from. And the thing with bubbles is they will disappear. We let go of our concerns and our worries and we give them to God and we leave them with him. Should we give it a go? Let's see how I get on. Each time I'm doing this, I'm praying to God. Asking him to take these things, the things I've done wrong, and make them disappear. Asking him to help me be careful with the words and the actions that I do. Because we know that God loves and forgives us. Let me pray. Father God, thank you that you give us rules to live our lives by. But you are also a God who forgives us. Help us to follow your ways and to ask you for forgiveness when we do things wrong. In Jesus' name. Amen. We've been thinking today how God has more in store for the Israelites. How God was asking them to be a faithful people to him. So he gave them 10 rules to follow. We call them the Ten Commandments. And God gave them to Moses to share with the people. Because God had more in store for the people. He was bringing them out of slavery into the promised land. Can you remember any of the Ten Commandments? It's great to learn them and for us to follow them too. Maybe a helpful way to learn them is to make the craft, the Ten Commandments mobile phone. Or maybe like me, you want to pray through the Ten Commandments with the prayer bubble activity. Or maybe you want to learn with Mr Memory, today's memory verse. Whatever you get up to at home, let us know by sending us photos or videos to the Families at Hope Facebook page. We want to see you learn more about this God who gives us commandments to live by. But now, let's praise and worship him again, for our God is good. Are you ready to finish by worshipping him? Feel the wonder, say his name, watch the darkness slip away. Put your power on display. Say goodbye to fear and shame. We won't stop coming after you. We won't move until you move. Come and do what only you can do. Come and do what only you can do. We won't stop coming after you. We won't move until you move. Come and do what only you can do. Come and do what only you can do. Move. Signs and wonders 